All right, guys, welcome to another WWE pay-per-view predictions video this t this weekend. It's WWE Hell in a Cell. There's going to be the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match. I think it's been long overdue, to be honest. Perfect, perfectly, honestly, in my opinion. Trish, Lita should have been in pretty much every match going. But I do like the way they're going with this. I just hope that this match does close the show. I hope Vince swallows his little tiny little grapes that he's got for balls. And I just hope that he has pride in himself and as a company, in the company as a whole, that he puts the women on last because they deserve it. They really do. It's a given that the males always end the show, so why not just let them have this? Let's crack on. We're going to crack on with um, Vincey Boy's um, golden boy, uh, Roman Reigns, who, in my opinion, and to be honest, in everyone else's opinion, after you've heard me say this, is the heel going into this match. Rusev is doing this match for his wife, for his family, for his nation, for everyone other than himself. That, to me, is a good guy going against a bad guy who has um, had a go had a go at him regarding pretty much where he's from um he's disrupted his wife's little ceremony rusev's wife ceremony with rusev obviously during a segment and he's done so many other cowardly and heelish things that if it was any other way around it rusev the guy above me would be the um first but because he's foreign and because wwe are Still partly racist because Vince and Kerr is still in charge. Rusev is the heel in this, and I honestly don't understand why. Um, but nonetheless, I think this match should open the show. It would be a good curtain raiser, and I I am predicting Rusev to lose, sadly. I think Ruru is brilliant. Everything that he does that he says is gold. I just hope he's utilised better after this feud because I, I don't understand what he can do, really going from here based on the fact that there there aren't many titles on this brand anymore so R R Reigns is going to win this match it's probably going to be a fairly long match I, I suspect to be quite honest uh, moving on to the next match which is Enzo Amore Colin Cassidy on the far left versus the club Anderson and Gallows Anderson and Gallows are basically jobbers now uh, so Enzo and Cassidy are going to go over here personally I hope uh, that somehow Anderson or Gallows get a link to this video and they actually listen to this part. I want you to quit WWE and go back to Japan and restore your reputation because WWE Creative are destroying you right now. You've not deserved any of this terrible booking and you, sh you should be booked better. Going on to this, we've got Bailey who's on the far left versus Dana Brooke who I don't really want to say this but I have to because it's true. She's terribly shit. Um, she was supposed to win clearly by um, a heelish tactic of putting, uh, putting her feet on the ropes, getting an over leverage pin over Bailey. She balls it up, ended up getting a clean win over Bailey. So there's no way Dana Brooke is winning this match. Bailey needs to win. If she doesn't win, it spells absolute disaster for her current career unless it gets revamped somehow. Moving on to the Cruiserweight Championship, which could without any gimmicked matches, be the best match of the night. Uh, you've got the Brian Kendrick, the challenger above me, versus TJ Perkins, the current champion. I've got Kendrick winning this match, mainly because there is no need to keep Perkins with the belt. There are too, too many faces, far, far, far too many faces in this division. And giving the belt to Kendrick, in my opinion, would be good. I suspect he's going to win by some sort of sneaky win, because WWE can't have heels win clean for some stupid reason. So that's what we've got here. We've got the New Day. Who are the current WWE... I'm not going to stand up and do the shaky gyrating thing. They're the tag team champs of Raw versus Sheamus and Cesaro. Um, I think... I would give the belts to Sheamus and Cesaro, but not yet. Uh, they're at this stage now, the New Day, where they're, they've come too far. They've come too far not to break Demolition's uh, world title record. If they drop the ball with them now and don't beat that record, when are WWE going to go again for that record with such a team that is as polarising? And 
as good as entertaining and they're brilliant in the ring as well uh, than the New Day. So keep the belt on the New Day. Have them lose maybe a, a few weeks after the demolition record has been broken. That's what I would do personally. So therefore I'm going to go with that. So we've got the New Day to retain their belts. Moving on to the, in my opinion, the co-main event because I don't, I don't class Rusev and Reigns as a main event. Your challenger, Seth Rollins, versus Kevin Owens, the current Universal Champion. It depends. If this match closes the show, expect Triple H, or even Chris Jericho, or even both to get involved. If this match does not close the show, it's going to be really difficult for them to have Triple H come in, unless, I've just thought off the top of my head now, Triple H... Hypothetically speaking, this is probably not going to happen. It's beyond WWE's creative knowledge and idea regime. Um, I would have Triple H come down, if it's not the main event, come down, smash the cell door open with his hammer, because or his shovel, but we'll go with a hammer. We'll go with a hammer. Uh, breaks the door, or breaks the cell wall, something like that. Can't be fixed. Um... So then obviously the cell door is open for the Charlotte versus Sasha match. But personally, I don't think that would happen. I reckon what's probably going to happen is Jericho will come down. There'll be some sort of confrontation, some distraction thing. Um, Rollins will lose the match. And then maybe as he's coming, as he's going, like leaving the ring, Triple H will then appear. I would have Triple H appear at this pay-per-view because it's it's... It would tie into his character very well, being a cerebral assassin. Um, so I would have Triple H come down, maybe attack Rollins, put a beat down on him so it plays to the crowd that Rollins is the baby face and he's getting screwed all the time. I would do that. So either way, Owens is retaining his belt. And then we have the match of the night. I think in the cell, uh, if not for TJ Perkins, the Brian Kendrick. Um, we've got Sasha Banks, your current women's champion for Raw versus Charlotte. Personally, I think Charlotte is going to spear Sasha Banks through the cell wall. Uh, the wall will like cave, or there'll be like a gap. It'll be like basically weaker wiring, uh, so that she'll get speared through there. It'll give them their "Oh my God!" spot moment for the night. That it's not just a cell match confined within a ring, because that that would really destroy this match. There needs to be some sort of element that's going to happen, because if they just have a normal ring match with the structure around it. People will be saying, well, it weren't really a Hell in a Cell match. It was just sort of like a match with the cell around it. So they need to have some sort of spot. So I think Charlotte is probably going to do that spear through there. Somehow, I see Banks still getting up and retaining because she's a she's in her, in her home crowd. The boss is going to win. She's going to reclaim her belt. And hopefully... It puts Bailey on this track. I'm hoping for like a twist so Banks turns heel because she's so much better as a heel. She's just so much, so much better as a heel than she is as a face. But Charlotte, I feel, has been massively underrated in this. She's doing really, really well. She's doing really big spots all by herself. So she's probably going up there. I'd, I'm odd. I'm a bit confused as to why they're calling her Charlotte Flair or if that was just Mick Foley's thing that. He meant to just say Charlotte, and Charlotte Flair came out of his mouth. We all do it occasionally where we say something and something else comes out of your mouth when you don't mean to. Either way, I have Sasha Banks retaining this match, so keep your eyes on it. Uh, the clocks, I believe, in the UK went back an hour last night, so I believe... The pay-per-view starts at midnight. I could be wrong. That could just be the pre-show, and the Americans have also changed their clocks back as well, so that would mean it was a 1am start for us. Either way, it doesn't matter. Enjoy the pay-per-view tonight. It should be great. Really should be a good one. I just hope it doesn't get ruined. But like I said, match of the night is probably TJ Perkins and the Brian Kendrick. Or it'll be this one. I expect to see Reigns and Rusev really, really go for it. Be a very, very brutal match. And that's going to be it, sir. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And just keep watching the videos and spread the word. Thank you very much. And enjoy the pay-per-view tonight, guys.